we have improved the experience of updating ECAD files in PCB Studio. You can now just select your updated board design and upload it right to PCB Studio. This will override the previous board design and will allow you to push the updates to the assembly and the MCAD that you're working with. This fundamentally makes the workflow faster and easier to work with. There is a new option for displaying instance properties and assemblies. First note how tooltips label the current reference being used. Also note how parameters such as the state part number is shown in addition to the part name itself. Filters can also be applied to look at results for a particular revision name, state, or part number. To turn this option on, go to your personal preferences and check this option here to display instanceless properties. You can also set the status dynamically once the option is enabled by right-clicking the top assembly node and choosing Hide Instance List and Show Instance List Properties. Broken out section views are a great way to detail internal parts of an assembly. With this release, you can now selectively exclude parts from being cut at the time of creating your broken out section. This same option has also been added to align section views, and in either case, the parts to be excluded can be updated at any point by simply right-clicking and editing the view. A new tolerance type for min and max have been added to on-shape drawings. This tolerance type can be applied to standard dimensions as well as whole callouts. You may now drag the extents of your section cutting line back inside the external boundary of a view. This provides a quick and easy way to create a partial section view. Auxiliary views can be created in Onshape and are referenced using viewing lines, typical to the ANSI standard. With this release though, you may now change the view reference format to instead show as an arrow, commonly used in the ISO standard. This option can be set at a template level as it resides in the drawing properties underneath the view tab. Here, we can also configure the view reference line and label properties such as font, size, and color, as well as the text for the label itself. export rules are now applied to the contents of anything that you export from Onshape. Here I'm selecting five drawings, telling it to create a zip file containing all of the drawings in PDF format, making sure to respect my export rule of having the part number in revision, including the name in the name of the file exported. The same will happen here as I export two different assemblies as well. When you choose the export option, a zip file is then downloaded and presented, and here are the contents of my zip files. For Onshape's latest update, I would like to point out that we have added an option to use a comma as a decimal separator for your number inputs. This works for all feature dialogues, configuration tables, and even functions. All you have to do is go to your account settings, preferences, and tick and save the option on a decimal format. Configurations are an excellent way to capture variants of your design. Even on a mobile device, you can edit the bore, stroke, and position in this pneumatic cylinder, for example. Now in Onshape for mobile, we can actually see the configuration information that drives the properties that you're selecting, as well as the configured properties, which include part number information for each specific size in this pneumatic cylinder. 
Not only does it work for part studios, it works for assemblies. Here is the configuration list as well as the configured assembly properties. Note that these are view only and edits to the configuration data itself are made in the browser itself. Full support for creating publications now exists on Onshape for iOS. Simply give the publication a name and collect the versioned or released references that you wish to include in the publication. In this case, I am mixing some released and versioned drawings and PDFs of inspection reports into this design review publication in which we can share with the rest of our design team for comment as well as markdown text which can be included in the text field. In this release of Onshape, we're adding a new appearance to the appearance library in Render Studio. There will be a bump map, a texture, and a 3D printing thermoplastic appearance you can use to create parts that look like they've been 3D printed with layers, layer direction, layer height, and other such settings. Thanks for watching. Click the logo to subscribe or see some of our other videos linked here.